It's yet another year of talk fest for the Center for Values and Leadership as it holds the 19th edition of its annual flagship international lecture in Lagos. This year's symposium brings together renowned economists and seasoned experts to share their thoughts on the theme, economic evolution of life after COVID-19, and recommend measures on how to rebuild African economies. The keynote speaker and political economist Professor Kinsley Mogalu believes that beyond aid for macroeconomic stability, African economies must pursue financing for development. The problem with Nigeria's economy and the economy of most African countries is that they have thousands of economists, traditional economists, good in all the issues, but they're not addressing the two most fundamental issues that determine the wealth of nations. One, economic philosophy. Number two, political economy. Professor Mogalu further shares his concern over Nigeria's debt in the midst of the pandemic. The situation in which we are now is such that it seems as if the government of Nigeria cannot survive without borrowing. And so there is a borrowing plan, quote unquote, which plans to have us at 50 trillion naira of debt by 2023. One of the panelists, foremost economist Dr. Ayo Teriba, says Africa should grow wealth and not riches. As small as Dubai is in terms of population and in land area, as a city, its output is now the same as that of Lagos. And the message to us in Africa, to us in Nigeria, to us across the 36 states is focus on your wealth. The founder of CVL, Professor Patti Tomi, is also of the opinion that African leaders must be strategic in order to avoid a jobless growth. What has happened with, Af with African leaders, uh, I don't know what the word is, devaluing African intellect or running away from intellect, is that we are now almost wholly dependent on the multilaterals, the World Banks and Co, to tell us what to do, what the problem is. And many times they don't know half what they are indigenous intellectuals know. So we need to stop this dependence on Washington for knowledge of how we solve our problems. The event was brought to a close with a cutting of a cake to mark the birthday of the founder. Will Ebong, Channels Television News.